What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome back to another video and today I'm giving you my first impressions of the Saucony Ride 15. <music> So that's 10 miles, eight minutes a mile, 80 minutes, done and dusted in the Saucony Ride 15. Delighted to have this thing in for review. You guys have mentioned in the comments for a while now that this is a shoe to grab and you are not wrong. I am really excited to share my thoughts with you guys on this shoe. But of course, with all first impressions videos, we'll be going through the technical overview, so I'm excited to share that with you as well. If you're excited for today, make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and we'll start with the tech. So we'll kick start by saying I went true to size in this shoe, which is a UK size 13, and we are looking at an eight millimeter heel to toe drop, 35 millimeters of stack in the heel and 27 in the forefoot. And in my UK size 13, we're talking 300 grams on the nose or 10.7 ounces. And as always, we'll start our way at the back and move our way down the shoe. So heel counter, ankle collar, tongue lacing upper, midsole and finish off on the outsole. So we've got a heel cut being used in the back here, which is pretty standard these days, just provides a bit of rigidity and support when you're slipping your foot in and getting that lockdown, starts just below the ankle bone area, goes up around there and round and down the other side. As I said, quite rigid there, no flexibility whatsoever. And that's just to help with a solid lockdown. But the, the um, material above around this top section of the ankle collar and heel is very flexible indeed. So it's a nice comfortable slot in to the top there. But once you're in, you get locked in nicely by this heel cup. The ankle collar groove is absolutely perfect, cuts right underneath your ankle, no rubbing whatsoever. Really, really comfortable. And we're talking about medium plush cushioning up and around the top here. So again, not crazy thick padding, but certainly not thin. It provides just the right amount of comfort. We're talking about a medium plush tongue again here, which is gusseted. So that means it is attached on the inside to the medial and the lateral side of the shoe. And they use form fit technology on this upper to really get this upper wrapping around the top of your foot. It is an absolute delight of a fit and it is just like a glove. It is such a wonderful feeling. So massive kudos there. And that all really starts with once you put your foot in from the tongue, the lacing and the upper, the whole thing just works as one to get a really snug and secure fit. Tongue was perfect, really, really enjoyed it. Perfect amount of padding. Lacing was also really solid. Good lockdown for the first run, no issues whatsoever, nothing came loose. And I like these sections here, these little bits of extra fabric, because what I felt it did is it just pulled the top there and the top there to wrap around nicely on the top of your foot. I just found it to get another, it's another thing that gave it such a nice and secure fit. So really, really positive so far. And the upper is very breathable and very comfortable. Light, lightweight mesh upper, a um, couple of layers. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see from that angle or if the camera is detailed enough, but we've got a top layer on the top there's another one on the bottom just underneath and it is a very well ventilated shoe. So more sort of overlays and thicker up around the back here but when you get to the toe box here it is lovely and ventilated and nice and wide as well for my wide foot. Absolutely no rubbing, no toe bunching, nothing. So massive thumbs up. The midsole is a newer, softer Power Run foam. So Power Run is their standard kind of foam that you look at Nike and they've got React, you look at Asics and they've now got Flight Foam. This is Saucony's kind of durable, long-lasting midsole foam. But the last time I tried this foam, I wasn't a fan. It was in the Kinvara 10 and it just felt absolutely flat and dead and it was not nice. Well, this new and improved foam was brilliant. I enjoyed it and it was it's on the firmer side, but it certainly had a little bit of spring back to it and I enjoyed every single mile I put into it this morning. So that was a really positive start because that was the only thing I was worried about with this shoe. But I have to say, great stuff from Saucony with this newer, softer version. And then we finally have some strategically placed rubber on the outsole here. 
So a lot of exposed midsole on the bottom, but strategically placed rubber there to protect in the higher uh, wearing areas, just to give a little bit extra protection, but not too much to add crazy weight to the shoe. So overall, a really good job there. And that is the 10. So before I give you my first impressions, I do just have to say this shoe was indeed provided to me by Saucony themselves for the purpose of review. However, they are not paying me to make this content, nor are they going to see what you guys see first here on YouTube. They have no editorial control whatsoever. So I'm excited to share my thoughts with you on this shoe. And to be honest with you, I have absolutely nothing negative to say about it, which is brilliant. So many of you guys were dropping comments when I was testing shoes earlier this year saying you need to test the Ride 15 and I guarantee you there'll be a lot of you in the comments right now. Get down in the comments now and let me know if you are one of those people telling me because you'll be delighted to see that I have finally got my hands on a pair. So as I said my only concern with this shoe was the power run midsole. Obviously I've tried the speeds, the endorphins, uh, the speeds, the endorphin pros and the, sp uh, the power run PB midsole is absolutely insanely good but the power run midsole I tried in the Convara 10 a few years back was just Oh, it was it was just the worst thing I'd ever tried. It was actually a pair of shoes I had to sell on eBay. So I was really, really gutted because I really wanted to enjoy those. But I have to say, whatever they've done, whether it's because there's more of it or if it is this newer, softer version, uh, whatever it is, it's brilliant. As I said, it's still on the firmer side, but it's not like a brick. It doesn't feel crazy firm. It's just kind of tips into that super soft, super firm, right in the middle, just sits to the side there. And I just felt it was so good this morning. I just rolled through so, so nicely. And another standout feature of this shoe was the fitting upper, the form fit upper. It was just absolutely brilliant. I love, love, love what Saucony have done with this shoe. I mean, to be honest with you, as I said, I'd only tried the Speeds and the Pros up to now from Saucony, but this has completely opened my eyes to what else they have in their range. And it's made me go, I instantly want to get the Ride 16 whenever it comes out because this is going to absolutely soak up so many miles. And I've tested a lot of daily shoes this year already uh, and I have to say straight away just after one run this could be the cream of the crop. This is right up there with the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. Um, th these two shoes are, are head and shoulders the best daily trainers I've tried so far and I think it might change again. This might pit the Velocity 2 to the post once I've got a few more runs in it. I feel it could be versatile. I definitely feel it's got a moderate run it. I'm certainly going to be testing that out on tomorrow when I do my moderate run. So this shoe will get a test out on some slightly quicker speeds as well. Make sure you follow me on Strava if you're on there. Link is in the description below. You can check out how that run goes as well. And yeah, just overall really blown away with how good this shoe is. Just no fuss, no nothing crazy. It just does the job and it does it so well and it's lightweight. I mean, that is just such a positive feature. 300 grams for a daily trainer in my size is phenomenal. I, I genuinely cannot sing this thing's praises enough. So it's going to be interesting moving through time what I do with the shoe. I think, as I said, it's got some moderate pace in there. I'll we'll be testing that very shortly. Whether it's got any quicker, I'm not sure, but I do feel like if it can do easy and moderate, then there's no other shoe that I would probably look to in my rotation right now than for this shoe to cover those two areas because it was fun and it was enjoyable. And I know it was only the first run and there's plenty more testing to do. But right now, I'm feeling very, very hopeful about this shoe. So yeah, those are my first impressions. I have to say a massive thumbs up. First of all, delighted that Saucony have decided to send me this shoe. I really appreciate it. I'm really grateful that I've been able to give a positive review because you, you guys know, very honest on this channel, and I will pull a shoe apart if I need to, but I don't need to with this one. It is absolutely fantastic. And a massive thanks to you guys as well um, for giving me the recommendations of this shoe. You're right, it is phenomenal, and I cannot recommend it highly enough for you guys out there to grab a pair of Ride 15s. So that is it from me today, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the Ride 15. Do you love it? Has it been a great shoe for you? How many miles have you got in it? Share your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, I'd love to get that conversation going. So that's it from me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.